Shay Cormac. I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lugeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cole? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And, if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man-of-war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man-of-war. Fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it, if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real... Uh, Firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself. Back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Any through. It is imperative we stop those ships, Captain. The outcome of the war may depend on it. Fire! Avoid her round at all costs, sir! 
Those mortars, Shay. Ready those mortars, Shay. Those mortars, Shay. Ready those mortars, Shay. Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. At Wally. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Great. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Ready to fire, sir. Fire! Coming on us, sir! Gunboat 
Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. Adewale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. <laughs> <laughs> 